the Queen and Zingas Brigade drum line and the Black Diamonds Dance Team is also participating in the longest day. We are going to happily showcase our uh, percussion skills as well as our dancing skills to honor our families and loved ones who have suffered through the illnesses of dementia and Alzheimer's. <laughs> My grandmother played drums. Uh, she, she was a percussionist uh, for a long time. She died from Alzheimer's and diabetes. And uh, it's, it was a terrible situation, but uh, she left a lot, a lot with me. She installed music. She installed everything that, I, I, that she could never do with her life, within my life. Uh, uh, she did amazing things for me. At first, the first few times we visited, he was still in a good place. He could still talk to us. And we would bring pictures and try to jog his memory and remind him of who we were and of different people in our family. But toward the end, when we would visit, he would either be asleep or if he was awake, he wouldn't talk. He wouldn't know who we were. The longest day is uh, June 20th. It's the longest day of the year. It's the summer solstice. Um, it's the day when sunrise is the earliest and sunset is the latest. Um, and it's meant to signify the life of a patient with Alzheimer's and the caregiver of someone who has Alzheimer's and what a day in their life is like. His name is Reverend Joseph Sherman. He had his greatest joy just dancing, even with Alzheimer's dementia, and with one of his, I believe, to be a great great grandchildren and just that fun that is still there so our day will be spent having fun in a park lots of games for kids and children and even adults to just celebrate the lives and bring awareness to the disease and hopefully have some time to educate people so the purpose of the day is to really rally people around this cause and allow them to participate in whatever way has meaning for them. Thank <laughs> you.